Good morning, fellas. I want to talk about pheromones today. Um, one of the brothers uh, is having a problem with pheromones, it looks like. I got an email from one of the fellas who watched the channel, and he went to the doctor, and I trying to gather from his email that the doctor said his pheromones are low or something like that. And he was saying that when he goes to kiss a girl, um, doesn't get excited or the girl doesn't get excited. Now pheromones are chemicals that are, that come out of our, our sweat and other bodily fluids that are, they believe that it influences the opposite sex. It has a way of triggering sexual interest and excitement. And see if I can find a site on pheromones. Here's the wiki. I, already, I just read the wiki a few minutes ago. Okay. It's a Greek word meaning to bear, to bear. Uh, from ancient Greek, is secreted or excreted chemical factor that triggers a social response in members of the same species. Pheromones are chemicals capable of acting outside the body of the secreting individual to impact the behavior of the receiving individual. There are alarm pheromones, food trail pheromones, sex pheromones, and many others that affect behavior or psychology, or physiology, in other words. Pheromones are used from basic unicellular uh, compounds to complex multicellular compounds. Their use among insects has been particularly well documented. In addition, some vertebrates and plants communicate by using pheromones. Interesting. So the brother, when he goes to kiss a girl, uh, his pheromones are low. I first heard the word pheromones used towards me when I was 33. Uh, the bodybuilding girl I was dating, she said, my breath turned her on. I said, she said, sorry, she said I had strong pheromones. There was a guy that was trying to get after her, um, you know, trying to cut my grass. He was a dancer in town, um, and he was uh, Irish, Irish guy. Uh, he said he was black Irish. He had black hair. Like, I'm not sure that's what the terminology implies, but that's what he said. Uh, he was kind of funny. I called him. I nicknamed him Disco Danny because he gyrated around, jiggled around, and shit like that on the dance floor in nightclubs as if he was on stage or something. And anyway, um, he thought my girl Susan was just the God's gift to mankind. So anyway, he chased after her and I let him, didn't bother me. She said he had no pheromones. So she said he burns all his pheromones off or something like that, or so she thought. She said she, he just didn't, didn't do it for her. So that was my first introduction to pheromones. Nature gives people, it wants to breed, the right pheromones to turn women on. I think I've done studies on the alpha male guy. He secretes pheromones that will work to turn his type of female on that he, he should be mating with. Not every female is gonna get turned on by your pheromones. I think for me, uh, I know that feminists don't like me, and I don't think my pheromones would turn them on either. Women who are who are naturally feminine, they would uh, get turned on probably more by my pheromones. Okay, there was a fellow on my forum that uh, he believed his special power with women came from his pheromones. Uh, hand of God. That was his screen name. So he believed that his ability over women came from his pheromones because he would concoct these elaborate pheromone concoctions. 
and try them out on women. I think that um, we need to learn to trust our own ability, first of all, and not rely on something like that to get us females. Because when you start relying on something like that to get you females, then you go always gonna need it. It's like guys who are liquid warriors. They can only get brave if they you know, drink liquor. Get that liquid courage. Okay. Let's go take a look at our mail today. It's been a while since I've done a show. Someone named Donnie Williams. Player Supreme, hello. I'm a player myself. Well, in the lifestyle, I lead, but the numbers don't match up to the amount of girls I speak to. This is a problem for me because most girls want a relationship out of me, but I just want to lay them down on the bed, LOL. I'll be honest, I have high standards, nothing out of the ordinary. I think a problem of mine is that I speak to girls just by text and I hate calling because it's hard to always catch a decent flowing conversation with every female. Actually, it's not. They're dead. It's actually not. You talk about them, that conversation will flow. Just ask them questions about the life. Get the life story. Well, girls have told me that they think I'm attractive. I have a great sculpted body, but they think I'm dodgy, you're English. I think the dodgy part is what kills me a lot. And plus, I do not use Instagram or Twitter, so maybe I'm not in the social circles. I don't use them. You don't need to use Instagram or tw Twitter. You could be outside, still outside the social circles and go in there to where you meet your women and pull your women. If it comes to colleagues, to colleague relationship, I thrive in them departments, but I don't think I'm deemed cool online or social networks. Uh, helps needed from the guru of games. Okay, well, you gotta find where your market of women is. And that's where you want to go is to your market of women. Don't be like the typical goob that his game is out, is all over the place. Try to narrow it down a little bit. I would say, you know, when you step outside your, your house, you're in, in your game, but there's also a certain market of females that you're marketable to. Find out what that, that market is and figure out where, where they go and show up. Okay. You don't have to go to the online shit. Because not everybody spends their entire life online. Okay. Grand Admiral Games. I found your comments on Google+. Plus. I think that there is an option to hide them from the public by default. Not sure off the top of my head since I did that a long time ago on my channel. <laughs> my bad. It's all right, brother. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I want to hide because I, I like to battle the racist people. It it's, gives me a little thrill sometimes to come in and drop some knowledge. Uh, Andreas Gustafsson, I think I'm done. Good. Let's go back to uh, comments. Okay. Put up a recent video called 24 Ways, and Charles Sensor made a comment saying, uh, most guys want to date pretty girls. They can't handle not being good-looking enough to date pretty girls. This is why they get all pissy and cold approach randoms, then go all incel and MGTOW. You know, Charles, I agree with you. Unfortunately, we got we to be able to accept you know, where we're at not on the look scale and then make the most of it. <clears throat> I was just looking at that model 
uh, the Kirby model. Don't recall her name though. Let me go to my YouTube account. So I looked at a video. Anytime you look at, actually, it's kind of weird. I was on my forum. Someone posted a link to an article about her. Fuck, it's not here. Um, in Yahoo, she was in the Sports Illustrated. You know, big girl. My type of chick. Sexy as fuck. Um, her name will come to me, so don't don't do a nerd thing, fellas. <clears throat> so I was on Yahoo, and I came back to YouTube, or I, I went to YouTube, and uh, YouTube somehow, I guess they tracked the cookies, see what I look at. And they started throwing videos at me, you know, when you first get in, the recommended. There she was. I've never looked at anything from Sports Illustrated. Um, or any of that stuff. Never heard even heard of her before. That's fucked up. Uh, YouTube's reading all the cookies. It, it keeps track of where you go. So it can throw videos at you. Charles. Under dating advice. The hardest part of the game is dealing with female bullshit. Even when you've banged them. I literally have girls who will ignore my text, then a few weeks later hit me up and we meet up and fuck, and then they play it flaky again. Last girl I fucked, I made her come about five, six times, felt all her orgasms, and she ended up ignoring me several, ignoring several of my texts to meet up a week later. Uh, what you do is don't text them, okay? You should have enough on your team where you don't need to text them. When you don't call them, they'll call you. There, Charles. Ignore my text to meet up a week later. Meet up a week later. And then she randomly texts me one week later to smash again. It all depends on the girl, and you got to keep several options. Yes, always keep your options open, but don't text them. Okay? You should never have to uh, uh, beg a female to come over because it's like begging. They know what you want, and if they're down for that, um, they should actually want you and crave you. If you flip that script on them, they'll start craving you more. All right, Huggy, what the fuck? Did I just watch? Shaking my head. On the weak males, that uh, black guy over in Paris, there's a girl walking down, and he tries to pick her up or talk to her. She, she got um, moved to get away from him. He hit her in the face. Gave one of them village slaps. Pow! You will respect me. Shaking my head. Yeah. Warm soda. I'm doing this natural uh, kidney cleanse. You got to drink a glass of um, warm glass of Coke every 30 minutes for two hours. Then it's worked for me before. Then take um, uh, asparagus, steam it or boil it, then put it up in a uh, puree thing and turn it to like a soup. Eat that and you'll piss like a racehorse. What it does, it cleans out the kidney stones. Years ago, long time ago, back in the early 2000s, uh, it was probably 2001 or something, 2002, woke up with this intense pain in my lower back one night. I didn't know what it was. It was incredible. Uh, I was in the, actually in the kidney on the left side. It's my left kidney that always fucks up. I like guess fucking up now. And um, went to the hospital. Um, I left... A friend of mine in in my apartment actually. I said I had to go. To, I've never been to the emergency, and I went to the emergency room. It took till twelve o'clock the next day to get treated. My ex wife came down, uh, kids came down, didn't know what it was, and they said you have kidney stones. They gave me some medicine and went home, and I passed a stone. It's supposed it's supposed to be real painful, 
but it wasn't that painful for me. I didn't realize I've been passing stones every year because every year, once a year since I was young, I'd have one of these painful urinations and that was it. Next year, come around, it would happen again. And apparently, um, because I, don't, I didn't drink enough water. And back then I was doing, um, I was trying all these different diets out. Not that I really needed, but I like to try out diets before I recommend them to clients. And um, I didn't drink water. I, it was the Atkins diet. I didn't drink enough water for it. Plus I was having cheese, uh, hamburgers, and all that kind of stuff. And no, very little water. And that, that will create kidney stones inside your kidneys there, fellas. Very painful to, to release. But this method, this will cause you to flush them out and dissolve them. No pain at all. All right. Let's go on here. Levi, what's cracking? Hey, man, because of you, I haven't been watching porn and stopped masturbating for a week. And so far, I'm not going to go back to that shit ever again. Fantastic. The brother that wrote me today also has had an issue with porn. Um, when you spew into your little Kleenexes, fellas, what's the effect it has on your pheromone level? A lot of you guys can't get women turned on when you're around them because your pheromones are weak. I said many years ago, weak men were not designed to breed. And I've said it several times since then. Because I had finally figured out, you know, a lot of fellows, nature didn't, didn't design you to breed. Because you're in a weak state right now. Nature is set up so that weak males don't get a chance to breed. Or as much of a chance. So when you're whacking off, you're weakening your, your manhood, your man juice. You're leaving in Kleenexes. So I would suggest definitely you guys go into some kind of program to get you out of the porn. And porn is a very powerful thing, man. Been there. And I was fucking tons of females. I guess I must have the constitution of a fucking rabbit. I've started working out and I'm planning on being in shape. I've already gotten compliments on how cute I looked by a woman the other day, which boosts my confidence a lot. Thanks, man, for your motivation. You're very welcome, Levi. Looks like three people thumbed up your comment. Good job. One justice. Ah, okay. I under I just got bitch slapped. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get over my issues with um email and stuff, email marketing, shit like that. Uh one justice, thanks for your support. Mike Shroud, Bangura. Chronix Williams, he got in on my uh, nighttime show. You see, one how you can join on the comments on the video. I think if you go to my channel, the video should show up there. I'm not sure how the guys do it. Maybe somebody leave a comment under this one, how you guys or you make comments while I'm doing these shows. I believe if I go to YouTube, though, it's, it'll probably show up. Let's see. And maybe I can keep refreshing that for comments. That way you guys can ask me questions while I'm doing the show live. Nope, it's not showing up yet. Now someone thumb down. I got bit slapped. <laughs> I guess they didn't like me getting bit slapped. You know, getting uh, called to the carpet, so to speak. I did put up a video recently, uh, are you ready to date? And I don't care who you listen to or who you go to, uh, fellas. All, everything anyone ever teaches you is to get you at that table across from a woman. 
Everything that I put out is to prepare you for that moment. Because that's going to be the deciding factor. That could be your future wife. That's how important this shit is. It's not just about the game and laying a bunch, bunch of bitches. That could be the future mother of your kids. And if you're not prepared, she could get up and walk right out, out the door. It could be your soulmate, so to speak. Another Levi is commenting. That must be a popular name for a certain group, uh, group of people. Women are literally f fucking this country up, filling with boys who grow up to become savages and girls who grow up to become hood rats, which they sleep, which they sleep with a bad boy and bring more potential savages, hood rats multiplying. You're very right, Levi, uh, 1583. You're very right on both sides of the racial coin. In the black community, it's just rampant. In the white community, you see the same thing going on on a different scale. But the difference is there are more white folks in this country than there are blacks. So the blacks, the the white side may not look, look as, as prevalent because there's so many of them. Mike Rossman. Rossmann. Two ends, it means it's German, right? What's going on, Supreme? I'm looking to get your private coaching. I'm wondering how it works. Do you do a Skype call? Yes, I do a Skype call. And the schedule depends on your schedule. We, we come to, uh, you'll tell me when you're available and I'll tell you, uh, give you time that we can meet up. Uh, my private coaching is gonna change, Mike. Uh, it's gonna become an actual program so that you'll get more out of it. So I'm giving guys exercise. The guy I coached uh, yesterday, <clears throat> for example, I gave him exercises, a lot, lots of them actually, a lot of them. Also with that, I'm now adding, um, Never mind. You, when you do my coaching, I give you guys lots of stuff. Night Shroud, how do you get freaks? You get freaks by getting eye contact from freaks. Then you go up to them. There's no magic way to get a freak. Uh, you got to have the charisma to attract them. You're, you're playing music. That should be able to, or you should be able to use that to attract freaks. What You got to get the guts to get out there and actually do the damn thing, though. You know, you should start a YouTube channel and start popularizing your music. Just you sit there playing different songs. Eventually, a girl will discover your channel if you uh, start advertising and stuff like that. And there are a lot of girls on, on YouTube. I know that personally. Okay. Girls all over the place. Michael Nolan, just under dating advice. Uh, where I suggested everything's to prepare, prepare you to be at the table. He says, just focus on dating game. Forget the player game for now as you need something to play females with. Yeah, I don't even do the player game. Because you guys know I just talk about uh, getting get a date. Get you guys out there. Females with like a passion, something going for yourself that makes you stand out. A good advice there. Uh, go to read his comment. Same video, Kyung says, I'm ready. Nitra says, I'm practically ready. The only thing is where I live doesn't play well into the type of person I am. You keep saying that, Nitra. Type person I am as I have said before, yeah, you see, you realize you just keep saying that. I'm still going to keep my eyes open for choosing, though, because while there aren't a lot of young women here, there is still some, exactly. Also, there, there's older women. Because what you want is to get your dick wet. Because you, you don't want to be sitting there whacking off every day there tonight, Shroud. No, we got to stop all that stuff. 
Reap males. <clears throat> no bueno, man. People will use this video to justify doing fucked up shit to black people. But to the brother, that was some fucked up shit. Real talk. I don't think they'll use this to justify doing fucked up shit to black folks. There, nobody watches my channel except you guys. Okay. That reminds me, I did my first ad. I did five days and I haven't checked the results yet. Well, the results should be sales, but I haven't checked to see how, what the reach was. Let's see. I don't think I did very well. <clears throat> what I recognize is a process. You, you learn. It's a learning process. You learn how to create the correct kind of ads uh, and all that stuff. Let's see what we got here. Fuck. I just, I gotta go back and do another goddamn glass. All right. I'll tell you guys the result of my first ad. I'm not ashamed. What I want to see is improvement, you know, getting clicks on my uh, videos. As I learn, I'll get better. And I'll be, uh oh, here it comes. I'm on Firefox, and Firefox just kind of sucks these days. Seventy views, view rate seven point nine percent, average CPV that's cost per view four cents, total cost two fifty. Hmm. That's cheap, but today one click. Wow, that sucks. The other day I looked at it and it was actually much better. <clears throat> um, I will learn. And I will figure it out because I, I, that's what I always do. Like when I did internet dating, I learned. I, fig I figure shit out how to make it work. I have a 12% click-through rate. Oh, that's actually good, looks like. Videos play to, no, that's, I can't really read their charts. All that matters is the amount of clicks. And today it looks like it's just one click, but the day just started. <clears throat> I have it set not to even play during the daytime though. That's interesting. I've set my this video set to play in the evenings, and it's going towards um, the gamer guys, the gamer market. I try to put in the dating. They have this little box you put what what interest, and none of the dating shit would come up. It only came up as keywords, so I had to pick up market to target to. And I I know a lot of guys uh, who are struggling the game. They like games. Oh, what's this? Okay, total all video campaigns. Some other campaign running, but I didn't start. No, oh, it's not running. Okay, that must have been uh, when I was setting it up. Okay, so nine hundred eighty-eight people so far have seen 
my video. That's not very many. I'm also going to start doing um, advertising on Facebook. Well, Facebook I've done before. I've actually uh, built audiences on Facebook just for trial stuff. Uh, in the RV market, in the survival market, in the camping market. I've been really good at, at getting um, really cheap clicks on Facebook and finding, finding good markets. Let me see if I can get some numbers on that. I've done a lot of fan pages because I wanted to learn how to do it. And I just put up one for online dating to test it out. I have one for uh, you know home workouts for women, and I've built. I've got over two thousand people on that one. Whoa! It's time to monetize this one. Okay. Cool. A lot of people they <clears throat> they've asked me about using Facebook as a dating thing. I only recommend it if you're looking for a girlfriend. Okay. If you're looking for love, it can be a good tool. Not a good tool for players. My motorhome one, only 712, but that's still pretty good. I only did the initial advertising. I did um, one week of advertising, and then I let it sit, and it's still growing. Uh, this week, it already has it was just one like. I could advertise this more and then monetize it, but I don't know what what to sell. I'm not, I don't sell motorhomes. I have an interest in buying one and moving into that. Okay, let's get back to our comments, see what's going on with you fellas. I'm actually looking for a question down here. Uh, a lot of males are commenting on the weak uh, males. That was some weak ass shit. If a girl didn't like me, I, I, I can't fathom slapping her. I can't think of the mind of someone that would do something like that. Twenty four ways. Uh, thanks for the comment, Kionta. Uh, you set up a Skype session by going to my store. The player supreme show info forward slash my dash store. Or just go to the main site and click on store. If I was a MGTOW type, I would uh, do that one ad and then run. Say, I'm never going to do that again. But you guys get to watch my type of personality as I'm going to figure this shit out. Cindy Ramirez. She says, I think you're great. I'm sharing this video on my Facebook page. That's another dating advice. I have 300 on it. I think everyone will definitely subscribe. Well, thank you very much, Cindy. And welcome to the channel. <laughs> uh, she has some advice also on that. You know, the, the tips I gave you guys? Somehow the PowerPoint didn't work also. I should have switched between all the decks so that all the points I was talking about would come up. I don't know what happened. It worked for me, but in looking at the video, it looks like it was stuck on just the main um, the main deck. Let me check. I actually didn't watch the video. Women know if they're going to have sex. Yeah. Let's try this point. Over calling. Yeah, stayed on the f same deck. I don't can't figure out why that should happen. Maybe because of something to do with uh, I was using the Google Hangouts 
and then I tapped into the, my um, my PowerPoint presentation. Cleotha Moss. This thing is hilarious. Yes. The game and myself, I can be pretty funny. Okay, so thank you guys for your comments. Let's keep them going. Let's keep the channel growing. I'm ready to grow and stay comfortable in the game. I'm going to check and see if you guys, if it's showed up yet, if there's any comments. Because normally it shows up on YouTube somewhere. Nope, has not showed up on YouTube yet. So I don't know how you guys are able to comment. When I put up videos <clears throat> that don't allow comments, those are videos I'm using for advertising. I think I, my advertising video was a uh, five tips help you approach hot women. And um, I appreciate you guys' views on that, your thumbs up and all that stuff. But when, when I'm going to use it for uh, advertising, I'll shut down the comments on it. So don't be surprised if you see other videos coming up. I have quite a few of them uh, waiting to uh, upload to test those videos out. Okay. I guess that's our show for the day. I'm going to go back to drinking some more pop later.